What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, at this point, the Lakers, they're really hoping, they're really wishing that everything go right for them this season in regards to Russell Westbrook. And what I mean by that is they're really hoping that Russell Westbrook plays well this upcoming season because if he does, that betters their chances of getting rid of him going into the next season if they don't feel like, you know, he can really, you know, um, help this team, be a part of this team and win a championship, which I don't think that's possible, you know, at this point in his career because, like I said, it's just hard to change players from how they are. And you're asking a player player like a Russell Westbrook who's played you know predominantly like one way all his career and asking him to change his ways to better a team or to to better a team's chances to win a championship he's never been able to do that that's never been his game that's never been him you see what I'm saying so asking a player to do something that they're not really comfortable with doing or something that they're used to doing just to help or better your chances for the sake of your team so you can win it's going to be tough because if a player is not used to playing like that there it'd be hard for them to give you something that they don't that they haven't given any other team which is the uh you know the outcome of a championship and that's one thing i think that you know really hurt you know, uh, Russell Westbrook stock, you know what I'm saying, in regards to any team that he goes to. I mean, he can give you, you know, the best of him, the best version of himself in regards to, you know, going out there, playing hard, you know, um, you know, going out there every night, not missing any, hardly any games, always being available and ready and uh, reliable out there on the court as far as showing up every game. But uh, there's more to it than that. You know what I'm saying? You have to you know, play with a different type of edge and different type of mentality if you want to, you know, win championships. And like I said, for the for the Lakers to get Russell on that type of uh, plateau with them, you know, to get to get him acclimated in that type of way, that's going to be hard to do because he's never been, you know, he's never won a championship. And I think at some point in his career, he kind of looked at it more like, you know, I'm just going to be me on the court whatever happens and that's it I'm not gonna look I'm not gonna look elsewhere I'm not gonna do anything else and I, I feel like that's what he turned his game into more like an individualized you know um effort where he can put up a lot of points and assists and get triple doubles and all that stuff but it doesn't equate to anything because his teams don't go past the first second round most of the time in the playoffs if he's the leader on the team or if he's the guy so I mean with that being said you know it's a lot that comes with Russell Westbrook and that's my thing I just don't see him you know taking his game to that next level um especially not now in his career but like I said anything can happen you know I've been known to be wrong just like other people so I mean maybe he can prove me and a lot of other people are wrong about his game but uh, as of this point right now it's going to be hard to really you know sway any different based upon what Russell Westbrook has put out there you know for us to see and um you know for us to uh, view about his game you know what I'm saying his game is always going to be the same I don't feel like it's ever going to change just because of uh what team or what roster he's on I just don't see him being that way you know because if you look at last year a lot of the games where you know he was making a lot of mistakes and things like that being criticized you know he took the criticism I'll give him that he took the criticism and he embraced it you know he laughed about it and laughed it off and you know just he has the same mentality he always had basically come there and do his job and go home and that's it you see what I'm saying like that seemed like that seemed like the mentality he's always had play hard while you're on the court leave it all out there and just don't worry about the rest and like I said that's how you know most players are, are wired you know what I'm saying I definitely understand that but the ones who want to be you know who, who want to be champions who want to win championships those are the type of players where you know they're remembered on different uh level and I don't know if Russ really cares about that because he never really plays that way he never plays with that understanding of situational basketball and all those things that come with winning championships and sacrificing and doing certain things I'm not saying Russ I'm not I'm not going to say Russ it does it's not in him to do that but I just felt like at some point in his career he stopped caring about stuff 
stuff like that because he saw that it wasn't happening and you know his teens wasn't really going anywhere when he was with okc with paul george and after you know um kd left then he goes to the wizards you know same thing you know that for the little stint he was there you know it, it just never uh you know seemed right for him and then he went you know he was with houston you know same thing couldn't get nothing there you know it just it just seemed like russ just kind of you know turned into the player where it's like you know hey i'm gonna do my thing and that's it and like i said that that's a good mentality to have somewhat but when you want to be a championship type player you can't think that way you have to think you know the bigger picture and i don't know if lebron can actually implement that and put that in russ's dna but i mean i know he's definitely going to try since russ is probably going to be there and Kyrie is definitely or more likely not coming so with that being said you know the lakers are definitely um hoping that you know russell westbrook plays his best because if he does you know that will better their chances of getting rid of him next season so his trade value could be higher and see the reason why it's hard for them to negotiate him now of course is because his trade stock and his trade value really isn't that high so that's the reason why they're hoping for him to ball out next year or play a lot better than what he did this past year at least make it like where he could fit in with a team and play really well play at a high level and you know um put up his points as he usually does because that'll better their chances of selling him off, you know what I'm saying? Or like, hey, we got Russell Westbrook. Look how he played this year. He played really good, you know what I'm saying? He put up really good numbers with us. We're just looking elsewhere because we want another piece, you know what I'm saying? Other teams will look at that and they'll evaluate that a lot better because they see, they'll see better gameplay from like Russell Westbrook. And like I said, that will better his chance or better the Lakers' chances of getting rid of him. And that $47 million contract that's over his or over their head in regards to Russell Westbrook will they beat and that beating got taken care of by then as well so this is my point they'll have better they'll have better uh options for themselves if they let him go and send him somewhere else that'd be fine because like i said if his if he plays better next year that betters their uh that betters their chances of getting back a player kind of like a Kyrie and have to probably give out less you see what i'm saying because teams don't know whether russell westbrook got it anymore now because when they looked down last year his first step wasn't there consistently like it once was he had moments last year where he would go to the go to the uh paint and just you know um you know dunk on somebody or something like that but i mean he didn't have moments like he used to he used to have moments like that consistently so it's like now you have to kind of like oh you know is he gonna play like that a lot some here and there or is it just temporary or can he consistently be the player he was that we remember him as you know playing at that level so um that's what everybody wants to see and i think that's what you know um the lakers want to see out of russell westbrook so either way it'll better the lakers chances because they get the russell westbrook that they you know that lebron thought that he would be getting you know by getting the lakers to get russell westbrook there uh because it was his idea at least they would be a lot better off because they would have more of an explosive russell westbrook a guy who can go out there and score and put up points and assist the ball he may turn the ball over a lot but he still is more aggressive on both on the or at least on the offensive end of the floor like he once was so if he's able to do that like i said it's better all around because maybe the lakers will win more and they might keep him or if he plays good as i said the lakers will have a definitely a better chance of selling him or pitching him to other teams because he's showing that he still got something left in the tank in regards to playing at the level and the intensity that he always has has been so i mean like i said it's a win-win for the lakers if, if russ plays good because they can go either way with it they can keep him because he's playing good and he's starting to gel with the team or they can let him go because his stock is a little bit higher and teams will want to bite on that because they see the Russell Westbrook for, of, of old. And that's what, you know, I think, you know, pushed a lot of teams back too. They don't even know whether he could play at that level anymore. So, uh, like I said, the Lakers are really hoping, you know, for a wishing star on this one. And it might actually come true. He might actually play better. You know, he, he might actually feel more comfortable, you know, and everything. Sometimes it takes a year or two to get acclimated with the team and, you know, better your chemistry with them. So, you know, we'll see exactly what he can bring to the table coming into this uh, follow-up season of uh, the 
catastrophe last season. But, um, you know, I actually hope Russ plays better anyway, just for his own sake, because, I mean, he doesn't need to go out looking like the way he did. I don't think that's a good look for him. But um, like I said, uh, this past year was uh, a bad year for him and the team. So maybe they can um, redirect traffic, basically, and, um, you know, play a lot better. And so can he. So everybody can, you know, get what they want, either trade Russell Westbrook because his value is higher or if he builds chemistry with the team, keep him there because the chemistry is getting better where they can possibly, you know, elevate themselves and put themselves in contention of, you know, maybe winning a championship. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out.